This is Sophie Heller, and this is an ACT English punctuation question. We see here that we have different variations of this backyard, a punctuation mark, and then however. So let's look at our sentence first to see what the author wants to say. The author is saying that anyone with a backyard, however, can observe natural habits and, dis and discern correspondences with human lifestyles. So we have our subject is this anyone with a backyard. And the action that they're carrying out, the verb is they can observe. So we want to make sure that the subject is connected to this verb. So let's look at our choices. Our first choice, we have a colon here. This um, anyone with a backyard. This doesn't make sense because anyone with a backyard isn't a standalone thought, which is what we'd want before a colon. And it's also separating our subject and our verb. This won't make sense. Um, this won't follow logically if we don't know what the subject is going along with. So that won't make sense. Choice number two is weird because we have a comma here and a semicolon here. A semicolon separates two complete thoughts. So we have like sentence one and semicolon, sentence two. So two complete thoughts are things that could stand apart as sentences. But this first part, anyone with a backyard, however, that's not a complete sentence. That doesn't mean anything. It's a fragment. So that's not going to be good. It's also going to separate this subject, anyone with a backyard, from the verb, this can observe. So that's not going to be good. Choice three is going to be good because it sets this however apart by commas, which is usually what we do with a however in formal writing. And it makes the subject, this anyone with a backyard, carry through to this can observe. So this is going to be right because it doesn't provide this weird separation um, given by a colon in choice one and a semicolon that we saw in choice two. Choice four also has the semicolon, which is going to be wrong because even though it's on the other side, you're separating the subject from the verb, and anyone with a backyard is not a standalone thought, so it can't be by itself. So choice three is the only answer that will work.